the biggest game in uh, Europe. It's Real Madrid versus Atletico Madrid. It's the Madrid derby. And Real Madrid are minus 120. Surely that's good enough for most people. Don't complicate it. Atletico are plus 335. Um, the draw is at plus 270. The under over is set at two and a half with the under being favorite just at minus 115. Go to the alternative market with Real Madrid being a free hit if you fancy Madrid. I think it's something like plus 150, minus one. Um, Paco, the Madrid derby. I I can only see Madrid on the back of scoring five at Liverpool midweek. Their tails are going to be up. And I think they they go up and they put these to the sword. Yeah, I think it's this one is a a very tough one because, uh, you know, ultimately Real Madrid are finding themselves at this point very confident whenever playing at at uh, uh, Europe. Uh, we have to see the, the second leg against uh, Liverpool, but, you know, things more or less should be polished because I don't see the Reds scoring four, you know, away from home. But um, I think that their schedule ahead is going to be very tough, you know, against Atletico. Later, remember, we had Copa del Rey showdown against Barca the following week. So uh, I think that uh, Real Madrid's... Uh, Firepower is going to face at this point with a bit of distractions here and there, obviously chasing Barca in La Liga. And Atletico Madrid are improving. I think that they are improving in the sense that they are going back to their roots once again. And you did see last week against Atletico Club the way they played. You know, it was like pure Cholo Simeone. One nil, don't complicate things. Keep a clean sheet, defend well at the back, generate a couple of chances. Griezmann scores, boom, job done. And if Atletico are able to bounce back into that kind of form, they can uh, generate some trouble for Real Madrid, even though the game is going to be played at El Bernabeu. They should be the favorites in in such a a derby, a a home derby between uh, Real Madrid and Atleti. So I I don't know. This one is going to be tricky, but Real Madrid are the favorites. You have to go that way. So minus 120. Is very, very high. You're never going to find that kind of value in a Real Madrid game this season. No, you're so, not. So I went that route. Plus 150, Pavlos. Real Madrid minus one. I've got this game. Real Madrid win 2 0. And I like the plus 145 with Atletico not to score. Yeah, Atletico not to score is uh, actually. Might be a little better. Uh, th- this is actually a matchup that hasn't produced a lot of goals lately. Uh, th- these two are 9-1 and one to the under 2.5 goals in the last 10 matches between them, regardless of venue. So that tells me uh, that uh, they, they've, they you know, they, that's a trend right there. 9-1 and one to the under 2.5 goals. And then if you look at uh, the way that Atletico Madrid have been playing lately, as Paco uh, alluded to earlier, um, they are 14-2 and two to the under 2.5 goals in their last... 16 matches across all competitions. The only uh, and that dates back to but back to November, right? So uh, the only two matches out of the last 16 in all competitions were uh, a Copa del Rey match uh, where they beat uh, Arenteiro by three to one, and a home match against Valladolid where they won by three to one. All the other matches were either one nil wins, two nil wins, one one draws, goalless draws, and stuff like that. So. Um, Something, you know, Simeone is, is uh, as Paco said, he's going back to the roots. And uh, I'm sure that he knows that with Real Madrid coming off a, a 5-2 win against Liverpool, in which they were down by two goals, that has, you know, that tells you a lot uh, for this Real Madrid side. We're playing at home in really top form. Yes, some injuries there, but, um, you know, it's... Um, it, it's one of the most monumental matches in uh, European soccer, this uh, Madrid derby. And uh, I think uh, Simeone is going to be very, very uh, tactical and very, very careful in this match. He knows that Liverpool got thrust uh, and he doesn't want to happen, you know, the, the same thing happening uh, to his side. So I think we're going to be seeing a very, very careful match between the... Uh, actually, be, Atletico is going to enforce a very slow pace, but possibly with a lot of cards as well. Uh, we don't know the referee yet. Uh, I'm going to take a quick look and maybe tell you something about the cards. But as far as uh, an official play in this match, I'm going to take the under here, guys, because I don't see a very open match. I see a very tight match, a very uh, you know anxious match with a lot of fouls and very few goals. 
I've got it 2-0. 2-0 to mm. Real Madrid. I'll take uh, that. Vinny anytime. Benzema anytime. Uh, four yellows, three reds for Atletico Madrid. <laughs> I jest. I jest. Sorry, I throw a bit of light humour into this because we are all over the uh, home side, even though they will try and keep it tight. But this is the type of game that could still be nil-nil after 79 minutes. And Real Madrid still win it 2-0 because if Real Madrid go up, I think everything goes out the window because Atletico are that type of side that they just like lose their heads and will just bomb no. forward to try and get it all back in one go. Let's have a little look at the official picks. And we're all involved here. OK, here we go. Uh, it's the other way around, uh, Pablo, uh, Paco. Otherwise, it looks like you're giving me abuse. Both teams to score <laughs> at minus 120. Under two and a half at minus 115. But for me, it's Real Madrid. Minus one at plus 150. You can find that on betus.com. Go to soccer. Go to Spain. Press on uh, other markets. And there it will be on the alternative. So instead of doing Real Madrid minus half, you do the minus one. And there's the big plus 150. 